five. Let me just check a few things here, folks, and then we'll get going. Check, check, check. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Alright, so hey everyone. Welcome to another uh, another stream. This is uh, 10 episodes. It's hard to imagine that uh, we are 10 episodes in to this campaign. In my first playthrough of Skyrim. But here we are. So, that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> so, last time... We did some stuff. Last time we got attacked by cultists. Uh, and um, what else did we do? Oh, last time we killed Greelod the Kind. And that was that was some interesting stuff. Uh, uh, left feeling very guilty from the last campaign, uh, from the last episode. Lots of guilt going on from doing all of that. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, so that's something that I've been living with, so... All for your enjoyment, everyone. All right, so what we're going to do now, uh, we are going to... So, so there's a couple objectives that I want to do. We are in Windhelm, uh, Windhelm and uh, there's a couple things that we have absolutely have to do. So first off, we have to go tell Aventus Arant Arantino <clears throat> that Greelot is dead. Only Mike and Nick tonight for now. Hi, Mike and Nick. How you guys doing? Great to see ya. Well, virtually see ya, kinda, maybe. Uh, so yeah, so we, uh... So we have Ventus Aretino, we gotta tell him that Greelot is dead. Again, feeling very guilty from the way that went down last time. Uh, we're gonna go to, uh, Solstheim, I believe, at some point. Uh, during this, uh, little episode here. There... I don't know, I just have a bunch of, like, random crap that I have to do. I believe there's a, a Shrine of Azura here, so I definitely want to visit that to get rid of one of these, uh, random miscellaneous things. And also, I have just a crap ton of crap. Uh, I have just, like, stuff that, I mean, I don't need, um, that I'm just gonna sell somewhere. But right now, it's actually early in the morning. It's 5.04, so I should probably skip ahead a couple hours. Although that weird kid, uh, is... That Aventus Arantino kid is, like, a, a devil worshiper. So I'm sure he's probably up at, like, 5 in the morning worshiping the devil, so... Small, sudden family emergency Joey is tending to. Oh my gosh, I hope everything's okay, guys. Jeez. Yeah, please... Please let me know that, uh... Everything is fine on your end. So let's skip ahead. To... 11 o'clock. Alright, so let's go find Aventus Aretino. And his house is some. His house is up here. He like lives under a bridge or something like that. He's like a troll. So uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go. Let's go do that. I think it was over this way. I forget how to play this game, so please bear with me. Uh, yeah, I think he he lives like right there. How the hell do I get up there? Whoa! Hey now. Sorry. Dragons? What? <clears throat> so, yeah, I think this is, I think it was this way. Cooper, what in the hell are you doing? My dog has been acting a fool today. Here we go. Here's Aventus's, Aventai, Aventai's, Aventai's residence. Oh yeah, definitely. Gma Gma's got to be definitely. Don't mess around with that stuff. Get uh, get grandma, get grandma good. She has to be. She has to uh. 
just to play with like Luke and or uh, Luke, yeah, just to play with Ben on the floor again and roll around on the floor. That was hilarious. Those pictures that you showed me, Mike, were hilarious. Well, of Grilod the kind is she? Your grandma. Old? What is going on? Grilod is dead. Aha! I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. What's he gonna give me? What did he give me? Okay, Arantino family heirloom. Uh, what is that? But yeah, man, I hope your grandma's okay, though. Arantino family heirloom. Where is that? <coughs> a plate? Wait a minute. A freaking plate? Is that it? I went through all that trouble. I don't know. That's not what I want. What, what do I want to do? Went through all that trouble. And all that guilt. Killing, killing that old lady in front of those kids. And I get a freaking plate. Oh, this little kid sucks. I'm not a fan. And he, and he still has his, like, pentagram circle. And the corpse is rot. Okay, this kid's... This kid's all types of messed up. He doesn't understand the concept of anything. He doesn't understand the concept of money. Gives me a plate. He should have given me the deed to his house. All the guilt. All the stress. What a jerk. Alright, now I'm all pissed off. So let's go... Let's go pawn this plate. A jerk. Alright. I just jumped. I didn't want to do that. Alright, I have to go sell some crap. Um, so I'm, I'm curious about the House of Curiosities, so I'm going to go down to that place. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go down there. Which I think is... Ah, uh, walking into a building. Which I believe is down here. It's probably this place. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, I have to unlock? Is it not open yet? It's a good plate, yeah. A wonderful plate. Uh, this place can't seriously be locked already. Er, and I'm not good at unlocking things. So let's skip ahead a couple of hours, and hopefully that will. You're gonna be unlocked now. Man, what the hell's going on here? This is, it's like, it's like Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Everything closes at noon. What the hell? All right, so I keep jumping. I keep hitting wrong buttons. I am so terrible at this game. All right, let's go up to this guy's place. What was it? The, yeah, the used wares. Let's go up here because that's, I can sell some stuff up there, I believe. Uh, don't like the looks of that kid. You selling Girl Scout cookies? What you What you got? Buy some flowers. Oh, buy some flowers. Those Girl Scouts are everywhere. They have a stand at the mall now. It's crazy. Uh, that's a pawn shop. Is this the pawn shop? This is curious goods. Used wares. No, this is it. <coughs> yeah, Girl Scouts have have a uh. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Okay, pal, thanks. But yeah, the Girl Scouts have, straight up have a, uh, have a thing at the mall now. It's crazy. You look a bit peaked. You sure you shouldn't be home in bed? Dude, I don't have home. All I don't have goods a bed. Are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. All right. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. One dark elf to another. Give me a good deal. Come on. Let's haggle. Alright. Weapons. I think I am. This is another shopping episode, isn't it? Shopping! Alright, so... 
I have a bunch of this stuff that uh, I'm going to have to do or get rid of. So, yeah, let's get rid of this. This is just random treasure that I don't need. Rings, necklaces, things like that. Flare. There's lots of flare. Get rid of that. Don't want to get rid of any of this stuff. Ingredients. Um, let's see. I don't think any of this stuff is worth it. Although I already read that and already know it. Pig Children, that's the book that I stole from that lady. Uh, let's see, what other miscellaneous crap do I have? Family Heirloom. You, that little kid. What a... 33 bucks, come on. Let's, do, let's sell this stuff. And I picked up a loot as well. So... Let me sell the loot. Nick. <laughs> Quick. Spin a spin a top. Spin a top so we know who's uh who's actually playing Skyrim and who's not. So Nick is at home playing Skyrim while watching me play Skyrim. That's pretty hilarious. It would it would be funny if we were at like the same place. If we were both in Windhelm, if we were both <laughs> like doing the same things. All right, so let me see what what does this guy have in terms of literature? The beggar prince don't care. Clairvoyance. Should I buy clairvoyance? No. Uh, yeah, I could probably buy that. Do I already have that? Tired to learn that. Monomyth of the Wolf Queen, Volume Two. Signed edition. Oh, uh, let's see. Potions. Could always use some more. Potion of plentiful stamina. Hmm. That's an expensive potion. He's headed to Windhelm. <laughs> That's funny. Solution of strength. All this guy's potions are super expensive. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't care about that. Does this guy have anything that I can use that would be helpful? It's all the crap that I gave him. And... I don't think he's... What is that? Oh, it's a two-handed weapon, though. I think... I think we're good. I think we're done here. Yeah, who supplies I your stuff? This collection together by whatever means I could. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. Okay. A few Can I help you? Souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Okay. Do come again. Sure, I will come again. Should I try to steal this like right in front of that guy? That would be hilarious. It's the back of your shops so that where you keep the good stuff. Alright. So, objective done. Let's look for a temple. Because I think there is one. Yeah, on the map it shows that there's like a little church icon. So, I think there's a temple of Azura here. Azura? Azura? Somewhere around here. Anything in these barrels? Carrots. Actually, we're just talking about carrots today. My wife hates carrots. We ate dinner at my in-laws' house, and she was not too pleased with the carrots. So there is a ah, there's there it is. I think this is the temple, isn't it? Holy you cow! Know about Talos? Oh. Founded the empire. Oh. Uh. Okay. Don't want to take your. Oh, maybe that's the temple I was at the last time. Don't want to take any uh any of your stuff. Just browsing around. I think this is. I think that's where I was last time. I don't think there's a temple of Azura here. Azura, Azura, Azura. Um. 
So let's check out our objective. So I think the next thing we're going to do is definitely travel uh, to Solstheim. Where is this at? Marshes of Hajal. Alright, well maybe we can do... Alright, let's go to Solstheim first. So I don't think I want to do anything else in here. Uh, yeah, let me check the map. We did all that we wanted to do. Yeah, so now we have... There's a bunch of these places around here, though. Free Winters. Brumwolf's Free Winters House. Talos. So House Curiosities. Not there yet. Uh, well maybe let's check out this free winter's house and see what that's all about. Because I am there. So let's wander down this way and head back out to Skyrim. Do, 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 do. Thank you guys for spending another Saturday evening. I hope you have snacks. I hope you are well prepared for this. This thrilling campaign. Is this, is this the place I was going to go to? No, but let's go in here. What's Candlehurst Hall? Okay. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. All right, I'm tell really me. Sure, what to do with myself anymore? Tell me about it. I try not to think of her, but sometimes the simplest thing will remind me. Okay. If it's a mercenary you're looking for, you've found him. There's no If you're looking to hire the strongest mercenary in Skyrim, I'd wager your search is over. Oh, hell yes, I'm hiring you. My blade is sharp and I thirst for battle. Onward then. Yes. Yes. Yes, I have a new and his what is his name? Step Stenvar. Uh, cool. All right, Stenvar. Let's go. Let's do this. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Okay, how do I get like a shoulder piece like that, pal? Because that's pretty badass. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. Is that you singing? You'll know, you'll know the dragonborn. What do you need? What do you do? Trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Ah, oh, Bard's Why College, eh? Like you should think about applying. What the? Oh, investigate the Bard's College. Uh, I don't want to make a request right, that right then. now. So, I'm so excited that this dude is hanging out with me now. It's pretty awesome. Wait, there's a fucking drum circle happening somewhere. What is, going what is going on? Oh, did I enter through the... I think I entered through the wrong wrong way, maybe? Who are you? Another dark elf. Just what Windhelm needs. Wow, that's super racist, lady. Okay, I'm not giving you anything. And don't break nothing. That lady is super racist. That's prejudiced. That's bigoted. I don't tolerate that. I'm going to take my mercenary and leave. Thank you very much. Alright, so let's head out here. And... Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. So Kelly and I had a funny conversation the other, uh, this this morning we were talking about how <coughs> uh, my my cousin has a giant map of Middle Earth up in her apartment and uh, similar you know it's very similar to the uh, to the map that you get with like the special edition of Skyrim it has this big map of everything like all the, the areas all the the different towns and all that kind of stuff <laughs> we we're talking about how growing up uh, in a small town in eastern Pennsylvania, how 
uh, there's so many like little areas that it, we could build a similar map to like similar to uh, Middle Earth to the Middle Earth map with our little weird areas in town. So I think we're actually going to try to work on that because I think that'd be hilarious. Areas like the ruins, the uh, <laughs> she's single. <laughs> Oh, uh, you are ridiculous. Uh, but air is like the ruins. There's these castle ruins. We c oh, shit. Oh, shit. What is going on here? Okay. There's a freaking dragon here. Does anybody see this? Maybe I'll see this. What the hell is going on? I'm not going to have to fight this, am I? No, nothing happens when I put my crosshairs on it. That I know of. I am freaked the hell out. Don't I have to head that way? Oh, son of a bee. You're not coming up here to fight the dragon, are you? Do not shoot at that dragon, lady. Okay, thank you. Sweet Jesus. So anyway... Don't want to fight a dragon today, I just want to go to this... Sloths... Sloths time. Where I imagine all the sloths are from. In a... In Skyrim. Solstheim. Yeah, that place. So, I just want to go this way. Anywho. So, uh, yeah, we were talking about the, uh... How the hell do I equip my weapon? There we go. Talking about, uh, there's some areas. There's these castle ruins. We call them castle ruins. It's just like an old stone house that burnt down, like, many, many years ago. Um... And you're looking uh, the best way for us to win the Nord's respect is through hard work. Okay, whatever, pal. Um, there's these castle ruins. What the hell else is there? Let me think. Let me stop and think about this. There's castle ruins, Shindog Springs. There was uh, a section we called Germantown. There was Pleasant Hill. The hill. The mountain. Uh, what other areas were there? There's just like so many ridiculous areas that we were talking about that we could totally fill like a Middle Earth style map of the, the weird areas in uh, the silk, the silk mill. Could not green, not green briar, Mike. <laughs> not green briar, but some places uh pretty close to it I'm sure. Uh what else? The old piney. Um the power line. Coalport. Ah, oh, where uh, there's so many so many weird names of places. <laughs> Not Margaritaville either. <laughs> Although the, the guy that lives down the street from my uh from my parents has a legit Margaritaville set up. Uh, in his backyard. He also has chickens, which is really freaking weird. And they get loose sometimes. It's just, it's odd. And a rooster. He has a rooster, too. Alright. But yeah, I think, I think it'd be hilarious to build a, a little map of our hometown. Of what it was, what it would be like if, uh, if it was a part of Middle Earth. So, we are heading this way to what I hope is So, Solstheim's over here. The fuck. What was that noise? What was that noise? Like the music changed, something felt like I thought I heard a swoop. Oh man, is Solstheim there? Was I supposed to go uh, was I supposed to go, like... 
in. Yeah. I think I was supposed to go into. Shoot. Yeah, dude. Come on, man. Cut. Keep up. Like. I don't do a lot of cardio. Chickens love Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Chickens do love Jimmy Buffett. I mean, science has proven that time and time again. So how do I get down there? I can't run down here. I'm sure I'll get attacked by some sort of troll. Or I'll die of hypothermia. But this is where I have to be. Right? Yeah, Solstheim's like right there. So Sol Solstheim, Sloth, Slothstein. Alright, well, I'm swimming now. Nothing to see here, folks. Just a random dark elf. Get up here. Do y'all have any ladders on your docks? Probably gonna die of hypothermia, aren't I? How the hell do I get over there? Okay, okay. Oh, shit, what is that? Shit, am I stuck under the freaking ice? Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. What is going on? How the hell do I get over it? I guess I have to go back into... Windhelm. Unless there may be... There may be, uh, some... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Where the hell did like you come it. from? Got to go. What? What? Broken limb camp has met. Uh, that wasn't it. Serious note. Here we go. We know. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Who knows what? Uh. I'm creeped out by that. Okay, dude. Who sent you? Like, who sent you? Come on, seriously. Nope. Huh? Nope. So what are you backing away for? Okay. So that was weird. And kind of creepy. I don't feel very good about any of that. I'm stuck somewhere. What the hell's going on? Get my life in order here. Stables. Jesus. How do you get the souls time? Do you know? Who knows how to get there? Is there a secret staircase somewhere? It takes me down there. It's right there. That's probably not the way. Yeah. Okay, Bell. Let's go back down. That's probably not the way. Okay.
Yeah, I got. Excuse me, sir. I'm I'm lost. Do you know how to get to this place? All right, let's go down to the let's go down to the underbellies of uh. Windhelm Snow Quarter is Grey Quarter reference Dark Elves. Oh yeah, I already knew that. So let's go down to the bowels of Windhelm, and maybe there is a door or something down there that will take us to uh to the Solstheim Solstheim place. So let's go down this a ways. It's telling me to go. The opposite direction, that Skyrim. What the hell is this map telling me to go? I guess I could use. Alright, well, I'm just gonna follow this map. Is it telling me to go back out to Skyrim? No. Possibly. Yes, damn. Okay. For real? Wonder if there's a roundabout way to get there. We'll see what happens. So Yeah. So that was kind of our big revelation was let's uh let's create some type of map of our hometown. A la in or in similar to the map of Middle Earth. And I really want to do that. I really also want to get down there. Oh, shit! Well, that's one way to get down there. Did you follow me? My guy? Hello? Shit. Well, that I didn't mean for this to happen. Nope, that's the wrong thing. How do I jump? There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Stuck in the water again. <sighs> Son of a bee. I know I'm supposed to be here. Here we go. No, no! Get back up there. Get back up there, you idiot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, walk. There we go. Cross me, elf. Jesus. That was the most unorthodox way to uh, to get anywhere. Did my guy follow me? All right, where the hell's this go? Staying safe, I hope. The assemblage. What is this place? Like, what's going on here? Look, there's a freaking staircase up there. Why did it tell me to go out to Skyrim? Staircase. This goes to... Windhelm. Alright, where in Windhelm, Windhelm does this take you? I'm pretty pissed off that it kept telling me to go out that one door. Unless it's locked from the other side, which I just locked myself out. Which is always a possibility, because I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. Oh, there's my dude. Skyrim's horkers are often hunted for their tusks and meat. Yeah, they're pretty badass looking. Alright, so... <sighs> so Stemvar is with me now, which is good. I'm going to need some help as we go to uh, wherever we're going. To Solstheim. I have to talk to this guy over here. Because I guess we're going on a boat. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. 
Okay. It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then... Yeah, that's what I'm here about. I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's Sounds like an alien abduction, pal. On there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. I will pay you double. <sighs> Brought me here and tried to kill me. Well, a man's got to make a living after all. Fine. We'll cast off immediately. So, I just dropped a lot of coin to go to this place where people are trying to kill me, so... Sounds like a wise investment. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. We are on boat. Oh, uh, I don't think this is going to end well. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. I don't like the weird looming sky. Uh, I don't like this at all. Raven Rock discovered. Okay. I got an achievement. Thank you, uh... Search for information about Mirak. Okay. So, we are in... Raven Rock, which is... Somewhere completely freaking different. Holy shit, there's a whole other place here? Okay, what? This is just blowing my mind. I have this whole place to explore too? That's crazy. Alright, so where's my dude? I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Uh somebody's trying to kill me? Like Oh uh, yeah. Mirak, I I'm not sure. What did I do? Just remember, Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? You know. I, I, I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. Dude, get the hell out of my way. I don't think so. I'm not. The, the name has something to do with the. Earthstone, I think, but I'm not sure what. I have to be a second counselor. Security do you have to do that, my ear, dude? Jesus. This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier. Is this a city called Blacklight? Oh gosh. Fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Counselor Morvain down. I just imagine the city of Blacklight is just one giant rave. <laughs> Councillor Morvane is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. As second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Uh, right. Raven Rock started out as an Imperial settlement. But the Empire decided to abandon it. Just as my people were first setting foot here, they left the town a shambles. But when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. By ours, do you mean and even if it's been Arc a Elves? struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Yeah. 
Yeah, what's Blacklight all about? I don't know, dude. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors. This dude just fucking sweeping right in front of me. Quite a while ago, yes. Get the hell out of the way! A bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why All it right. happened. Freaking green arrows here Mansion, sweeping the freaking deck in front of me. Of their people, or perhaps both. Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. Fraser up here keeps Many talking. Alright, so we're done here. Get okay. We, uh, we were delayed by bad weather. Before you even asked. Yes. Okay. This may be the frontier, but we've still got rules. Break them. Wound up in the prisons. Your face mask looks very much like a cultist. I am suspicious of you. Alright, this is pretty freaking ridiculous, folks. That we're in a new place. With what looks like plants from that Rick Moranis movie. What's that? The shop, Little Shop of Horrors. The house. Unlock the ancestral tomb. I don't want to go in there. Alright, I do have to see what in the hell am I doing. So, this is... Okay. Sweet Jesus. Investigate the shrine. Look, search for information about Mirak. Okay, so where is said shrine? Bulwark Jail. Don't want to go to jail again. That was not fun. So let's look around. The, this, uh, the structure is here really weird. It almost looks like... In the ash wastes, keep your eyes to the ground. Ash spawn. Like to spring up from nowhere. What the hell is he talking about? Uh, anyway, these houses look like something out of Star Wars. Looks like this is, uh, your visit here would... What the hell? Do I just don't... You can't creep up on me like that, pal. Ancestral temple or tomb thing. This looks like something you important. Need a rod back to the main line. Gallon, the only way off this wall. Okay. This looks like a mixture of uh, Toydaria and... I don't know, it just looks weird. It's just, it's such interesting, such interesting architecture they have around here. All right, what's what is this place? Ah, uh, this looks like a kiln, or a uh, smelter place, blacksmith place. All right, so let's walk around yonder. Somebody else's abandoned building. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't like this. I have a feeling if I touch anything, something bad is going to happen. Come on, dude. Get, that, get, your, get your shit together. Okay, so... I imagine this shrine is going to be some type of ornate building. Not one of these little huts. But, just to check, lots of people's houses. If you witness suspicious activity, report it to Captain Velocity. What is the retching necked? Sounds like a bar, or a tavern. You got a problem, you talk to him. Okay, Slitter. It is some type of 
hangout place. Teldrin, the best swordsman in all Morrowind is at your service. Ooh, okay. For the right prize. You also, dude, that guy looks so crazy. Whoa. I want you on my team for some reason, but I already got this contract with this other guy, so now we're just gonna let you kind of sit there for a little bit. Mokul doesn't lend coin to outlanders. Look somewhere else. Okay, then you're not getting my business. Turnip field or something like that. Harvest. Yeah, what the hell is that? Trauma root? Sure, I'll harvest that. I don't know what the hell that even means. This looks important. It's a mine. Okay, not going in there. I have a bad history with mines and underground places and uh, spiders. So, where in the hell is... I, well, I guess I should probably walk over here to where this gigantic building and other structures are. I am stepping on top of rocks and boulders and shit. What is this? Use the alchemy lab. Yeah, I knew this place was shady and stuff, but like... Got like, alchemy labs. Like, boiling up crystal meth and stuff on the corner. You know, like outlanders. Huh. I don't know about this place, folks. They got these guys with this, like... They look like aliens from the movie Aliens. Here's the temple. And every place has this weird underground thing going on here. So... What in the hell is going on here? Their blessings removed. Okay. Did I want to do that? Dude, I, I don't know. Oh, I just... I, Yeah. Mirak mentioned it. Nope. Being an attempt on my life. Perhaps someone in town of Raven Rock will know about him. Nobody wants to give me any freaking information. So, that's awesome. But I did just do the Shrine of Zora. I did that. Okay. So, hey, I took care of that. So, let's walk around. I don't know what that is. Those hearts? Oh, they're cool. Oh, damn. Alright. I'm not stealing from people praying or anything. need to visit this, uh, I don't know why the objective won't change. I hit the wrong button. I'm doing that. Investigate the shrine, that's what I'm doing. Search for info, okay. What's this all about? Random doors. Random, random doors. Requires a key. I need the key to this ancestral tomb. Is that somebody sleeping in their bed? Uh, it's a little weird. Are you here to pray, or perhaps pay your respects at our ancestral tomb? Just talk to me, pal. We inter our dead. They are sacred places, meant to honor their passing. Sure. Sadly, we've been unable to use the ancestral tomb beneath the temple as of late, and have resorted to other locations to scatter the remains. Those foul vermin. 
The abominations we call Ash Spawn have risen from the ashes of our own ancestors. They are befouling the memories of our forefathers by defiling their remains. All right. <laughs> I'll clean the tomb for you. Sure. Thank you, Wanderer. That would be most kind. Here. Give me the key. This key should open the door to the tomb. Well, that was easy to get the key. Hmm. Who's Mirak? Sounds like something from a dream, and yet it might be more strange. I remember a temple on Solstein and working to build something. It, uh, it was not a pleasant dream. So all these people are affected by something. The Reclamations are the true tribunal. The Daedra, the Consecrate, the Dunmer people. Azura, Methala, and Boethia. Oh, so that's why they're up we there. We call them the true tribunal because they have reclaimed their place in our hearts from the false tribunal that came before. Sotha Sil, Amalexia, and Vivek represent what and was Vivek? being who won the Dunmer people's hearts with their actions, but blinded them just the same. They were Pardon me, folks. I'm going to take a drink of coffee. Prophets. They used their status as heroes to shield the true tribunal from our minds, but finally shine upon the House of Reclamations. So that's some interesting history. Let's, uh... The ash spawn are soulless beings with no regard for compassion. Oh, cool. I just accepted that mission without knowing anything. You got any good shit to help me? <laughs> Though our spirits may be low and danger lurks beyond the light, I am confident that they will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Alright, he's just gonna keep talking. There's another guy right here. Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders aren't welcome here. And these people here are just not nice. Mirak, it sounds very familiar. Uh, not someone here. But Somebody is hiding this I'm Mirak guy. I can't be sure. I know I've heard that name, but it it doesn't feel real. Does that make any sense? Something is going on in this town. I just don't like it. Non-believers are never welcome here. All right, let's get the hell out of here before this guy does something. And let's open this door. And let's take care of business here. So. I just saw something moving in the background. So that's cool. Is that something that's going to happen? Yeah, there's some stuff moving down there. What is going on? Am I on fire? Oh shit. Uh I'm almost dead. I am almost dead. I am. Um, let's see. Let's use some magic. What what magic am I gonna put on? Alteration. Oak flat. Prusure. No. I don't want that. I want destruction. Firebolt, flames, uh, sparks. If that works, what the hell is going on? These oak flesh things might be a bit challenged here. Yeah, it looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about this. I'm not sure if I want to go into here yet. 
Uh, what's the Falmer sword look like? Uh, let's put that on. Let's go and put some magic on. Let's put that sparks on, because that seemed to actually work. Why am I on fire? Oh, these guys suck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Not sure Assault's time was a good idea yet. Well, damn it, I was trying to follow the story. Yeah, this area seems pretty tough. What what is your uh Is that your is that You're your a good friend to me? That means something. Dude, okay. Lead on then. Is this Solstheim place pretty difficult? Cuz that's the sense that I'm getting. I'm getting the sense that these people are uh the folks here are going to be difficult and actually that the terrain around here and all the stuff that I encounter is going to be pretty difficult. Is that a good... It's not part of the main quest. Really? It's not part of the main quest? Oh, I thought it was part of the Dragonborn thing. Interesting. Well, I might go back to... Like, the people are... I'm stuck in the doorway. Hey. Elder Arthur. Eventual replacement. Soon I'll be running the temple my way. All right, dude. I don't care about that. I'm getting. I'm going back to Skyrim. It's an add-on that makes a lot of sense. Let's go back to. Wait, who do I have to talk to to get out of here? Captain Gallen does the business around here. I'm just a ship's name. Captain Gallen. Where the fuck is Captain Gallen? Are you Captain Gal? Yeah. I can't say I'd mind heading out of here. Uh, I still need to get paid, of course. Come back when you actually have the gold. Oh shit, I don't have gold? Oh no. <laughs> what do I have? I have 40 gold. Oh shit. Um So we got to sell some stuff pretty quick. We got to find a trader or something. Oh no. No. Oh, okay. This is going to be really bad, but I'm going back to that temple and stealing money. Excuse me. Go away. <laughs> That's the only way I know to get quick cash. Oh, there's somebody there. Shit. Hi. Hi. Good day. Good day. Good day to you. Let's go over to this one over here. Do a little quick stuff. Steel. Gold. Steel. Coin purse. 23 gold. 23 gold, that's it? Shit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe... What's all this ash yam? What's going on here? Oh shit, this is not good. I can't afford my way out of here. <laughs> I need a lot of gold. I have... Well, you know what? There, there may be a market or something up here. I gotta find a place right quick. I have currently... Uh, that's the wrong button. I have 100. I need 150 more gold to get the heck out of this place. They serve the best sujama I've ever tasted over the wretched net. Okay, good for good for them. Um, where in the heck? Holy cow! 
So that's the jail. There's a tomb. I'm going to one of these houses, maybe. I don't know. That's probably a terrible idea. Wretching net. I can try that place again. See what happens. I'll front you some money. <laughs> oh, if it were only that simple. So, shit. There's an awful lot of guards wandering around here, too. I guess there's no, not any more than a, I don't care about this apple, I care about money. And there's lots of, ah, it's just, this is just a weird place. Y'all folks are weird. Alright, let's go down to that, that, uh, the retching something it was. Maybe it was nighttime before. Maybe the place with the uh, the meth lab. Let's go to the meth lab over here. Yeah, this guy's, these people are using the meth I lab. Can't get blood from a stone, Moko. As it is, we can barely Moko make ends meet. Looking for any potions, hand. ingredients? Alchemical. Oh, here we go. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Uh, not really, but I need to make some cash so you have a lot of it and I will sell you some stuff I'll sell you that uh sure I don't know I guess at this point I can't be picky yeah I, th I think you're right Mike I think uh I think multiplayer would destroy kind of the atmosphere. It's it's fun to play individual and to kind of wander around and to kind of get stuck in your thoughts and well that's the way. That's the reason I like it. But um yeah, it's it's interesting in that sense. Get rid of these damn carrots. Crocodilic brandy. Mead. I don't really don't care for the mead. Sure. Let's get rid of all this crap. Why the why is my guy hoarding potatoes? I right, need some other crap. I feel like I sh don't want to get rid of those dragon scales yet. I guess we're gonna have to get rid of some of these things. All right, now we got enough money. I'm proud to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. I only wish I had a better source for netch jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. Um. Sorry, I'm just taking a drink of coffee. I could gather some for you at some point. That would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. Sure. Okay. I have that. Now let's get the heck out of here. Can I sell turnips or something like that? In this game to get money. Speak. My ship's ready to sail. If you've brought enough gold. I brought enough this time, pal. Let's Get do it. Settled, then. Holy cow. So that place... <sighs> There's the meth lab. The alchemy labs. So that would be interesting to train in alchemy. That ta that This section of this map, of, of this... Of this thing, just has... It's odd to say this. There goes my massive wealth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It feels odd to say this because. Talk to Captain Okay, we're back in. 
Talk to Captain Gallon. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you want? Okay, go away. Um, it's odd to say this, but I don't appreciate this. So what? I don't appreciate them right back. Okay. But I feel like that section of of this game had just like such a different feel than the actual Skyrim map and thing here. It it felt it's so weird to say this and to think this, but as I was going in there, it felt like a little more felt like everything I was going to do was going to be a little riskier and like I would get killed a lot easier. It's it's weird. East Empire Company. What is this? What in the hell is this place? I know this place looks horrible. Please, don't hold it against the company. Sad, isn't it? We can't afford to keep the place running since these attacks started. Pirates, you see. Oh, pirates, Raiding yeah. All along the coast, from Hammerfell to Vardenfell. Only the Shattershields appear safe. A very powerful family in Windhelm. They run a private shipping operation and would love to have the docks to themselves. That kind of sounds shady. Sounds like some type of Trump enterprise. Somehow. Not yet, no. But perhaps an intrepid person such as yourself could help with that? I'll help investigate they have a pirates. Dark elf who oversees their operations, Suverus Atherin. She's meticulous to a fault and keeps a logbook with every transaction she makes. Do I have that logbook? If it were to somehow end up in my hands, I wouldn't argue. They call themselves the Blood Hawkers. They've been around as long as I can remember, but only recently focused on our ships. A dastardly group, but they're more than simple brigands. Shrewd, clever, clever. not to be trifled with. Our own security forces are limited, and all the mercenaries are tied up in this ridiculous war. Dude, aren't you a dark elf? You look like a dark elf. Of operations, and attacking single ships won't really solve the problem. All right, well, I can help you. I can help you do some, do some shit. So, uh, yeah, my so my quests that I have. So this is the Dragonborn one. So, uh. So I investigated the shrine. I was gonna go to the temple of Murak next. That's so that's part of the dragon quest thing. Uh, that's the logbook. The horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Then I have a bunch of these, like miscellaneous ones and stuff like that too. So I don't know if that's that's of any help. Uh, but yeah. So that's kind of I was following the dragonborn thing because it kind of seemed. That's where, that's where it was uh, taking me, especially because I ha encountered those cultists. Uh, so that's kind of where I thought the game was taking me, but uh, maybe not, because I don't. That's that Solstein place was just that was. I am definitely not prepared for that, so I think I might try to just take care of some of these other quests and probably head to this area. That's probably what I'll do. The, it it is also it is also quite possible that I have missed so many things in this game because I've run around and I've gotten lost. Oh, the horn! The horn is next, so maybe I'll maybe I'll take care of that one, and I will get rid of this dragonborn one. That that area, that Solstheim area is just so so strange uh, but let's see East Empire Company, so I can also steal this person's logbook but I thought I, I, I have a logbook or something like that of somebody's I have the Aragonian account book, that's not which oh, Jesus Guy yelled at me and it freaked me out. All right, so let's see. Let's see what happens here. 
Yeah, ease of play is definitely something that uh, is uh, is important to me because Staying safe, I hope. I'm not very good at video games. <laughs> this is all this is all so uh, interesting to me. Aragonian assemblage. What the hell did that person asked me to do? What was I supposed to do with that book again? Pirates. Atheron's logbook. Alright, so this, it, we have to go to the burial mound in the marshes of Hajal March. So let's see where Hajal March is. I think it's up this -a ways. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think that's up this way. Agile March, right? Yeah, it's all the way up there. By Ustengrav, that's right, that's... That's right. And I need to... Don't I need to visit a college at some point? The College of something, the Bard's College, somewhere. It's Winterhold. Was I ever to Winterhold? Where's the Shrine of Azura? Hmm. Yeah. That's some shit. Alright, so there's a dragon that flies around down here. We don't want to go down here. So let's and this is the oh, that's Solstheim over there. And that's the creepy place we don't want to go to. So let's hop on the path up this a ways that you can see right there that I will probably stray from and get lost. But we're going to head up this way to... Yeah, I was, up, I was up this way almost, I think. I was almost there. But let's head up that way. My dog is being an absolute monster right now. He's just begging for treats and food. He's driving me nuts. Oh my gosh. He's had so many treats. So much food today. Can't even begin to explain it. Visited people. That's like the map. Uh, that's like the map of uh, Middle Earth. I want to make a map of, of uh, my hometown like that. That would be so cool. Are you giving the dog food, Kelly? Oh, good. Our dog is an asshole sometimes. He, I, I love him, but he's just he's an asshole. Oh my gosh, you're still selling Girl Scout cookies. Alright. So I have no money. Here's the used wares guy. Still have no money. Is there anything that I need, Take a good though? Look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, I don't think so. No, I might have it stored away. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for trinkets, odds and ends. That's oh my gosh, what is the dog doing? Cooper Pooper is right. Mike said he's a Cooper Pooper. Exactly what he is. He visited people today, and he's like all freaking wound up. He's he's a piece of work. All right, I'm never gonna use this workish dagger. Let's get rid of that. Now we have 21 gold. I can't believe we. I can't believe all that happened before. Let's get rid of all this crap. That I'm never going to use. So now I have 85. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Okay. So. Let's go out of here and up to... Out to Skyrim, rather. Oh, shoot. Did I just head out the same door? I just went out the same door that I just came out of before. My apologies, folks. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. A little turbulence on the ride. Yep. Don't want to go this way. Okay. 
I wonder what weapons and stuff my guy has. I didn't even talk to him about that. I kind of just blindly accepted that he was coming with me. But I paid... Ah, oh man, I paid 500 bucks for him, too, to, to join me on my journey. My fun, fantastical quest. So that was kind of expensive. A couple of, couple of minor... Minor errors in judgment during this episode here, folks. Errors in judgment. Spent a lot of money. Spent about a couple thousand bucks. Or a thousand gold or so, maybe. Something like that. Uh, where's my guy? Let's talk to him. He can't walk down the steps. Uh, do their steps. And now he's running right by me. Okay, pal. Need something. Not sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. I am not gonna do that. So he has like zero armor. Lead on. Ugh, come on, dude. What is Cooper gonna get his own streaming show? He should have his own streaming show. He's a piece of work. All right, let's at least make our way to Ustengrav. Oh, that's good. Good to hear. Good to hear Grandma's EKGs are good. Yes, 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 yes. That is good news. One thing I know about grandmas, grandmas are resilient. I don't know how they do it, but they're super resilient. Okay, the dragon is gone because I think it's daytime and other factors. And also it's not snowing or anything. So yeah, so we gotta go up this way. Over the river, through the woods. To Ustengrav we go. And... Yeah, up this way. So at some point, I imagine... Shrouded Grove, why do I know that? Is that a couple episodes ago? Did I get ambushed? Oh my gosh, my dog just jumped on top of me. Ow, Cooper! Ow! Ow! Lay down! Ah! Cooper! Ah, my dog is sitting on top of me and it hurts! Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Hi, dog. Cooper, do you want to start hitting buttons for me? He's 18 pounds of terror, folks. Alright, better be safe than sorry. I don't know what these cats are doing up here. Are they guards? That's a path. These drunk people. Oh, what are these people? Stendar's mercy be upon you for the bit, huh? The mercy of Stendar does not extend. The dog is not crying. I don't know. He's just like being weird. Sorry, my wife is talking to me about the weirdness of our dog. He's acting strange. If you're hearing things, it could possibly be our neighbors, or you're losing your mind. Or it could just be me mumbling to myself while playing Skyrim. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. Okay. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Stand okay. be with you. Stendar be with me, alright. Indeed. So... What, dear? Need to become a coffee addict. I'm sitting here drinking coffee... ...right now. <laughs> alright.
Nude mod? I don't know what nude mod means. Oh, really? There's a nude mod? Alright, here's the bridge that I failed to go over that one time. Remember that, everyone? That was like two or three episodes ago. <sighs> I think I walked down the middle of the river. I don't know. I just wasn't following the road. Let's check out where we are on the map. And I think we are heading the right... Or are we heading in the right direction? So, it's there. And this is here. I guess we'll... I guess we'll see what happens. I think I remember this. Okay, enough about the Daedra and the suffering and stuff like that. some guy there. There's this guy here. Oh, that's my guy. Best fat material. I have no clue what that means. My wife is laughing at me. She's laughing at me. I don't know why she keeps laughing. You're not laughing at me? You're laughing at. Okay. One X. Oh, sh all right. Whatever. Whatever, person. Whatever float your boat. Uh, let's see. I have a feeling I'm heading back to that area where there was a dragon. And I don't want to go there. Got off the path. Be careful. What, dear? Yeah, isn't this where that dragon was before? I don't just don't like the looks of this. I think I got attacked by a dragon at one point. Bronze water cave. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think I remember coming up this way. Oh, Mike, I haven't used clairvoyance at all. I just, <laughs> I just realized that. Mike is on here. Listen, he's watching. Mike and Nick are both here. No, I can't hear them, but they're typing and stuff like that. Here's a guy. I am, if you are not here to grant me a good death. Ah, oh, man. Death. Nick. It is the good death guy again. Aren't you so happy? Oh, and Megan's there too. The good death guy killed me last time, didn't he? I'm trying to think. I think the good death guy killed me. Uh, perhaps I could give you a good death. Sure. I think I felt really guilty about killing the guy last time. Huh? No, I'm not an orc, but I feel really guilty about killing this guy. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Anybody in this game? What? My wife's yelling at me about killing people. I don't know. Hmm. We shall see. There's two of us, pal. Oh, 
Well, I gave him a good death this time. And all we got is freaking wine and BS. Alright, so I got some fur armor though that I can give give this guy. Maybe he can use it. I don't know. Yes. Stemvar, you want some armor? Sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. Okay. Alright. Stemmar has this freaking belted tunic on. Because he's awesome. So we're going to give him some fur armor. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're going to give... Give the fur armor, fur bracers, and the fur shoes to him. We're going to equip that. And I think that's all we, that we picked up, right? Sure. Feel right. Free what the hell's going on now? Is he not wearing this stuff? Son of a bee. Am I not hitting the right thing? Did I just take all this stuff back from him? Oh my gosh, what the hell am I doing, folks? Yeah, I just did. Okay, give him this stuff. Equip this stuff. What the hell am I doing? How do I equip this? Or, yeah, equip. That's what I'm trying. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Anyway, Stenvar is just gonna have to deal with not having his shit. Huh? Okay, this is really bothering me. Sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I feel like I keep hitting the equip button and A at the bottom. RT, LT, equip. Like, that doesn't make any sense. It does nothing. I just take it then. It's really stupid. That's really stupid. Alright, yeah, whatever. Let's, let's just get the hell out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, those people came by and they're like, hey, what happened? I'll take the saber tooth cat stuff. Cooper, what in the hell? Our dog is being a terror. Absolute terror. He's laying on top of a pillow that's sitting sideways on our couch. He is acting a fool. He's a pain in the ass right now. I don't understand what he's doing. I think I'm going the right way, though. Yeah, I'm going the right way. There was a little road map back there I probably could have looked at. Oh shit. Oh, what the hell is that? What the fuck was that? Oh. You people are no help around here. Let me tell you, Stenvar. You're no help whatsoever. There's some more wolves up here. Gosh, everyone sucks in this game. Here I am, killing wolves. 
Taking care of business for all y'all. Harvest and snowberries. This isn't where I came up against that troll, was it? I don't think so. Alright, just making sure I'm going in the right, right direction. I don't trust... I know the waypoint thing's up there, but I just don't trust myself. Alright, I remember this camp. Little encampment here, I think. I think I've been here before. Alright. See, we want to go to... Just in Grav isn't even on this damn thing. Dawn Star. Solitude. Whatever. We're going this way. Regardless. I have a feeling like something bad's gonna happen soon. What is that? Yeah, pickaxe. Damn. I can mine this. What the hell is that? That's a gold ore vein. What? I don't have a pickaxe. I need a pickaxe. So I can mine this gold. And just have my own, like, little stash up in the forest somewhere in Skyrim. Can you imagine if life was really like that? Go mine gold here for a few minutes. All right, we are walking. We are walking, searching around here for things, structures, points on the map. Hopefully, not going to get killed by anything. Hopefully, not running into any spiders. There's something over there. What is that? We didn't discover it yet. Where, what is this? Are you friendly people? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man, I took care of him pretty good. Did Stenvar kill that other guy? God, good looking on... Good looking on you, Stenvar. Taking your stuff here, people. You're alright, pal. So what is, what is this place? What do you do here? You got Cornelius. <laughs> That's funny. What does he say? It's thick as pea. Thick as he doesn't say thick as pea soup. He says something weird. And then he's like, "You eat what you eat, and I'll eat what I'll eat." Holy shit, I just clicked on this and now I'm cooking meat. What? <laughs> My wife just said, cook, cook that meat, Greg. Cook that meat. What the hell? What in the hell is happening here? so fearsome. They're far more deadly in greater numbers. All right, I just stirred a pot real quick, so that was weird. And there's a dead person there. Oh. 
What the hell was that? Holy shit, what is this? My wife is dancing around. I don't know what she's doing. What in the world? What was that that I just killed? No, it wasn't a spider. I don't know. It's a draugr? Ancient Nord Greatsword. Well, that rhymes. This is weird. Holy shit. I hear- I hear people. This is- Oh shit! There's a guy right there. This is really weird. I feel like I shouldn't be here. It's a potion, though. And a jug. I will certainly ramsack your, uh... Your place. Ruined books. Some mace. This is creepy in here. Okay. Words of philosophy. Balming tool. This is strange in here. I didn't want to come in here, but now I am here. All right, let's let's put a little uh, let's put a little pin in this. I remember to come back here at some point. We got we, we got stuff to do. I gotta get to Ustengrav. this way. Is that another door? I'm lost as shit in this place. Okay, here we go. Anything over here? What's in this cauldron? Oh, gold. Okay. Why are all these bandits always hanging out with dead people? Alright, so we found another little, uh, bandit settlement here. And... We're still on our way. That is a mammoth skull. Can I harvest anything from that? I cannot. It's slowly becoming night. And the Dawn Star... Rift in. Guess we're technically heading up to where? What? Fourth roll. Dawn Star. I guess we're technically heading up that way, right? Yeah. There is something ahead of us. Is that a deer? So I've only encountered one polar bear so far, which is kind of cool. And unfortunately, I just we just found this out today, but the oldest polar bear in captivity in the country, which was in I was it, what was it Kelly, Philadelphia, right? The oldest polar bear. There's a freaking spider. I'll have your head. Oh shit. Shit, I don't I don't do good with spiders. Oh man, this guy's this guy's just taking care of business. Holy cow. Is there more spiders somewhere? Son of a bitch, I'm in like spider haven here. Uh let's equip my bow.
There's another one somewhere. This is crazy. My, this, okay, Stenvar is officially my favorite. He's awesome. There's another spider somewhere. It says on the, there's a little red dot on the map. It's probably going to jump out at me and kill me. Yeah, just shot some gross stuff at me. Oh, damn, did I just kill that? Damn! That was pretty cool. Alright, Stemvar is alright. I'm starting to like this guy. Alright, let's equip some, uh... Equip our sword again. Actually, it's becoming night, so let's equip this Lunar Ice Mace. And put on some Fire Magic. Fire Bolt. Uh, or... Fireball. Let's do that. Maybe not yet, actually, because it's not... It is not... Nighttime yet. Okay, we're still on the right path. We're still on our way there. At some point... In this actual physical day in the real world, I will make it to this place. I think once I'm done playing this game, which actually may be in the year 2073, um, I will just start wandering around looking for random things, like random encounters, polar bears, stuff like that. Is this another bandit outpost? What is this place? Fort... I am friendly. I am... Oh, it's a bit... It's, it is a bandit outpost. Okay. Close the gate? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Where are the bandits? Where are all the white people at? Where are the white women at? Holy cow! I just headbutted her into like. Holy cow! Wow! That was some brutal stuff. So we took. Look at this! There's like a nice like, little sign here. In this nice little village. So we're gonna search these bandits. I'm gonna take some of their stuff. These bandits are really mean people. What was that? Th oh no, I did it. Shoot. Close the gate. This guy's a steel mace. Which is actually isn't too bad. And it outlaws gold lock picks. Again, steel mace. If my ma could see me now, she'd scold me good. She'd tell me I should know better than to go poking around at abandoned forts. Well, your ma ain't around, pal, so... Alright, so... We are currently in this bandit outpost. And actually, I think this is where I'm going to end it, because I don't think I'm going to make it up to... No, I have a little ways to go yet to make it to... Oh, what is this place up here? 
Solitude? Hmm, interesting. Uh, to retrieve the horn of Jurgen, Jurgen Windcaller. So, I'm going to save it here. And I can't save it here. Shit, I can't save it here. Oh yeah, yeah I can. Okay. So, I'm going to save it here. We are at this place. And, yeah. And that's actually where I believe I'm going to end it for today, folks. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do this again next next uh, Saturday. So be sure to follow us on Twitter at geek underscore cheese. That's where I tweet out when we do stuff. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Average Jack was auto-hosting me. I didn't even realize that before. Thank you so much, Mr. Average Jack. You are the man. Uh, yeah. So anyway. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next week for another wonderful edition of uh, Skyrim. And, uh, yeah, uh, Mike, I hope your grandma is better. I'm sure Joey will let me know uh, what's what's happening with that. And, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, guys, for hanging out. This is always fun. So we'll see you next week. See you later.